As a vet yourself, when you were in the league, was there ever a rookie player that you felt you needed to humble? No, no, I don't. I never paid attention to anybody outside of myself, whether it was a rookie player, veteran player. I didn't get caught up in trying to prove nothing to nobody. I mean, I, I knew who I was. I carried myself the way I am now. I don't worry about shit that don't matter, don't pertain to me. I worry about my own house from burning down. You know, young players, they just going to talk all day long. I remember we played against Carolina. I mean, I was at Carolina, and we was getting ready to play Atlanta Falcons and D'Angelo Hall had just gotten drafted out of Virginia Tech. And, and Steve Smith was supposed to be my, my crimey. He got hurt. And we're opening day. We're getting ready to play against um, Atlanta. And D'Angelo was just running his mouth, just talking. And I told Jim Moore Jr., I told Jim, I was like, man, he's head coach at the time in Atlanta. I'm like, Jim, man, shut the dude, shut the fuck up before he pissed me off. And, and you know, and the other dudes on the team was like, man, leave that dude alone. Because... You, you just, young dudes be excited about something and they think they could do something. He, he didn't have an easy day. It wasn't an easy <laughs> day for that. him. No, it just wasn't an easy day. Well, it wasn't all, big numbers, yeah. but just in general, it wasn't an easy day. When I needed to block him, I rushed his ass into the water buckets. The when Gatorade I needed to catch time. passes on him, I caught passes on him. That's just, but that's how young dudes are. Yeah. We absolutely hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more from us, Hit that subscribe button for all videos, full episodes, and exclusive content from the show. And don't forget to find all facts, no breaks, on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.